systematic variation. Standard English. Phonology. Smallest units of meaning. Grammar. International phonetic alphabet. Dialect. Semantics. Syntax. Language. I don't know if there's a set definition for it, but I think for me proper grammar is when you use words correctly in a sentence grammatically and what you're thinking relates to what you're trying to say on paper as well as how you're saying it when you talk to someone like in a conversation. Poor grammar to me is when people, for example, use I feel good instead of I feel well or I'm doing good, things like that. If it doesn't sound right, it's probably not proper grammar. I believe that good grammar would be not using words like LOL or OMG. There's like phrases and stuff that have like developed over the past few years that like I just think are, like it's improper English, it's just not. They're not really words, they're just like slang. English that is grammatical has the uh, principles, follows the rules and uh, syntactic rules of uh, English. Personally, I think good grammar would be just any grammar that um, lets you communicate you know, your opinions. I, I think I define it um, to a certain extent by what the purpose of the writing is. There are different good Englishes that are appropriate for different contexts. Proper grammar is using this, uh, an accepted structure, a standard of English in writing. There are rules in a, in a larger sense that uh, if, you, if you follow those rules, then you're said to be using good grammar. What I would say to any student that's writing a paper, your, your responsibility in um, articulating your ideas is to be as clear and to the point as possible. And if you are using um, improper words or you're using poor grammar, then you're never going to make your point in a clear and concise way. They, they always say, oh, I don't know anything about grammar because if they had anything about it in high school, they've of course forgotten. I mean, maybe from grade school we did a lesson, maybe like third or fourth grade lessons on like pronouns and nouns and past participles, um, but I've long forgotten <laughs> all of that stuff. How much grammar, overt grammar, do new college students know? In terms of the, the terms? Yes. Shocking little. little. I would really say none, honestly. Like sometimes even terms like the subject of the sentence are, are not clear to them. Actually, I had, this, I had this experience the other day. I was uh, trying to show a student ways to make his sentences more concise. And I showed him a sentence and asked, what is the subject of the sentence? And he didn't understand the question. I don't think you really need it to be a great writer necessarily, but I do think they need it for other reasons, just like, you know, people need to know biological terms for the human anatomy or geographical terms for, for landscapes, they should know linguistic terms for language, you know, so, so not so much, you know, you should study grammar to be a good writer, but you should study grammar to understand how language works. <laughs>